Okay, I wanted to cover really fast on how to do the uh, alpha brushes in a separate scene, uh, make them iterations of each other, and then we can take them back in as a texture and get them to, to uh, pretty much just randomize. Part of it's in the way we make the brush themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn on the panel. Um, there is the Create Brush Maker scene, which you can actually do manually. But this actually gives me a 1K camera with uh, the top-down look. And it also means that I, I can put objects here in scene and not really mess with them. Um, here, I'm going to actually go to the shading and turn on Alpha Transparent so we can make sure we've already got those done. You can still use black and white images and just use Calculate, but for, for the time being, let me just get these done right. Um, this is a pretty simple process, but depends on what you want. I'm going to add a mesh plane, and I'm going to go into edit mode and scale it down, grab it up here, and then I'm going to grab that corner, go into object mode. We'll give this a shadeless material with a full white value. And this is like, this is just something I've I've taught myself by by uh, basically accident. But what we're going to do is press F12 and we'll create the alpha. And here we're going to save it. Image save as. We'll create a directory on the desktop. And and we'll call that new alphas. I'll, I'll select that. Now we're going to call this random dot zero zero one dot png. Save the image. Hit escape. We'll go into edit mode, and I'm going to select it all, rotate it, grab it. Scale it, F12, image, save as image, press the plus sign, save it, escape. Then we're going to grab one of the verts, F12, and we'll just keep doing this until we have enough odd shapes. And this is this is actually probably pretty boring to watch. So I'm just going to stop after I get to 6. Okay. And that should be it for right now. Now I'm going to just get rid of this scene because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to turn off the artist paint tools for right now. We don't really need this. I'm going to go into my regular paint. And I'm going to create a new document to work on. And for right now we'll just we'll keep this the same size but make it white hit OK now the trick to doing this is first go into paint mode turn on your toolbar I like to have mine on the right press F5 and you'll get it over there and as a texture right now as a tiled we'll end up putting on view plane and rake and random now let's load the image. The brush, new. We'll just go to the open. We'll go to our new our uh, directory, new alphas. Press A to select all of them. Open. 
here in, in the panel it shows you that you have six so auto fresh and cyclic and we'll use alpha but in in the extension we'll turn it to clip we don't want the the whole um, we don't want to really see it all the way past so we don't want it repeating um, if we come to the overlay texture we need to turn on you'll see it there so you'll see it like that now if we start using it right off the bat which I'm going to I'm going to press you need to press X to shift back and forth the two colors or just hit this one this these uh evolving arrows and so if you press it it's already pretty cool with just one one shape but there's a couple things that are bugging about this is that I mean, let me press alt r when you turn off the pressure then we maybe the the radius we'll go ahead and turn that on so that we can actually use pressure to make it larger smaller now we only have six and it's going to go cyclic but if you want you can let it play through the whole head and it'll cycle through or you can just change it to say one through six and do it that way press home if you wanted to you could actually switch manually like that so you'd have different different ones now the other problem we have is you'll see that the curve of the brush is allowing it to soften out to the edge and it's also a little too close to the edge so first we'll go to the curve and we'll try to get something a little 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 uh, more rigid this is the center of the brush and this is the outside edge of the brush so what we'll do is we'll add a point here where it's still there and then we'll taper it down so it will have a soft edge but it'll have more of a full brush shape then we'll need to change this to 1.2 or 1.4 I think 1.3 is good enough we'll see how that works yeah now the brush maybe it's a little too there depending on what you want but like I said this one is just that boomerang looking shape looks like something from Batman but what we want to get all R to clear this what we want to get is to actually start play and maybe we'll make the brush much bigger so that the shapes have more uh, variation in size and we can press X to reverse it X back again and depending on how you want to work with your alphas you can create whatever kind of set you want if you make a larger set of alphas with m many more varied shapes maybe some round shapes harsh shapes um, grids and things like that you get a better visual and maybe you get a better feel for what kind of action you want or maybe reset this maybe you do want to have some different values and maybe the pressure allows you to see shapes build up inside that maybe those are what you want this is very much like alchemy but um, maybe not quite the same but has a similar use
anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you can save that as a texture name and keep it in the file and maybe even pack the images so that you can bring it back in or you can just keep them on your drive and manipulate which ones you want to pull in. That's about it. Uh, hope that helps out.